Hey everybody, Ed Homewood, Old Guy Hi-Fi Channel. How are you doing today? Today I wanted to do a quick little video on equalizers and why they're actually a ton of fun and a valuable addition to your system. I truly believe that. Obviously I use one. Um, equalizers can give you the ability to fine tune the system to sound the way you want to. It can't fix a bad room that has a lot of issues. It can't fix a badly designed speaker, you know, that has poor crossover or poor response or you know, those kinds of things. But what it can do is give you the ability to just tweak the system a little bit and make it a little bit better. So in my world, I mean, I've got a big subwoofer that you'll see this is sitting on. And obviously my ELACs have uh, three six inch woofers in them. Uh, so I have pretty good bass, but I'd like, I like just a smidge more on the bottom end. So with the Locus, the shit Locus, which I've got here, we've got a 20 Hertz control. And so I can give it just a little bump down there. Now, there's not a lot of information at 20 hertz, but it raises up other frequencies as well. And then for me, sometimes recordings, depending on, if, especially pop music, the, the vocals are way too hot. Uh, and they tend to be uh, kind of brightish or a little bit grating. So by having the uh, 2 kilohertz control, I can turn that down just a little bit and get the vocals kind of sweeten them up a little bit. So it gives me the ability to tweak my system. So EQs aren't bad. Tone controls are not bad. They are worthwhile. They're very valuable. Um, and so I don't care what anybody says. So for EQs, I mean, obviously shit makes it three different ones. They make the Loki, the Lokius, and the Loki Max, or Lokius Max, I think. I don't remember the name of it. Um, I bought this one because I like shit products. I'm not shilling for them, but I just happen to like this one. There's some from Duke Audio. Um, I had a Duke Audio one that had a tube in it in the buffer stage. And boy, it sounded really, really nice. And it was a similar layout as far as the number of knobs and so forth as this. That thing was really cool. And those are available on Amazon. And there will be a link, an Amazon affiliate link for that Duke Audio uh, EQ product in the description. Again, if you purchase it, I make a small commission, but it doesn't affect your price and helps me kind of recoup some of the costs of doing this, even though I don't do this for a living. So anyway, EQ, good thing. Definitely. I think it can give you the ability to tweak the system just the way you want it to. It also gives you the ability to, you know, you've got a bad recording and some of the 70s rock and roll was really recorded badly or it's overblown or, and I'll give one example, Alanis Morissette albums, tend, her voice sounds so sibilant. This will give you the ability to kind of tweak it just a little bit to help ameliorate that sibilance. It won't make it go away and it won't make it perfect, but it can help bad record. It can help make bad recordings a lot more palatable. So that's a good thing. So I like the, the shit product because it's made in the United States and I really, really like that. It also gives me a ton of connection options, balanced in and out, balanced, you know, so I can use uh, XLR if I want to or single-ended if I want to. It's really, really simple unit. Works great. And I love it. So if you aren't satisfied with the sound of your system before you go buy a whole new pair of speakers for a thousand bucks or whatever, or buy a new amplifier, or buy a new streamer or whatever it is, go ahead and try the EQ first. Um, I think it, it'll give you a lot of pleasure and it'll give you the flexibility to really kind of make it sound the way you want it to. And that's the reason I have it. My system sounds really good to begin with. This just lets me tune it just a little bit better, more to my particular taste. So I like EQs and I'm a big proponent of EQs and tone controls. So if you like the video, please give it a like. Please give me a subscription. Um, there are some affiliate links in the description below from Amazon. If you do purchase, I do make a small commission, but it doesn't affect your price. And I'm just trying to defray the uh, cost of running a channel. I don't do this for a living, but obviously I need to improve things and I want to get a better audio system. I want to get a better uh, camera and then I'll need to get some editing software because what I'm using right now is kind of clunky. So anything you do to help support the channel that way, I would greatly appreciate it, but don't feel obligated to. So again, please give me a like, please give me a subscribe, please comment. Tell me what you think about EQs. Tell me about your system. I always respond to the comments. I love to hear what you have to say. I love you sharing your experiences with me and obviously with the other folks that look at the comments. And it's really kind of fun is, hey, we're all in this together. Let's just have fun with this. I'm not going to judge anybody based on their system. I'm not going to let anybody judge other people based on their system. Um, I, I am a music first audiophile. If you watch Darko's recent video, um, I don't always agree with all of the things that he said, but what got me interested in all this stuff was music, not this stuff. And so I really like to listen to music and I just want to do it and have it sound the way I want to. This helps me get there.
So again, please like, subscribe, comment. This is Ed Homewood from the Old Guy Hi-Fi channel, signing off. Have a great day. Thanks.